Hey, good day there. It's uh, Wrench Gear here. Got another project on the go here. We're in the laundry room again today. Always got a project going, and lately we got a few of them in the laundry room. So here we got our uh, typical regular top loader washing machine. And uh, this thing here, we're going to say this guy is, we're going to say 10 years old. Uh, you know what, though, COVID's been happening for the last couple of years now, and that Kind of throws off your uh, sense of timing. So maybe he's 15 years old. I don't know. We've had him a while. This thing works good. Works excellent. This is a uh, this is a sud saver machine. I don't believe that they make these anymore. Um, kind of a unique uh, feature about this one. We have we have a uh, a save and a drain option. And uh, what that will do is. Um, if you have it on save, your uh, your wash water, soapy water, will not go down the drain. It will instead come into your laundry tub and with the hole plugged. And you know you get into a you get into an extra large load, and that'll fill this laundry tub right up to there. That's how much that's how much water gets used in in every in every load and what happens is you have the ability to suck that water out of that laundry tub and back into the machine to reuse it don't look at that that's broke anyway you know some people might say oh my god you're gonna wash your stuff with old used dirty water well you know what if you do a couple of uh you know you do a couple of uh, white towels and uh i don't know uh uh you know, tablecloth or uh, uh, sheets off your bed or whatever, and you save the water, well, you can see exactly how dirty the water is in here, and then you suck it back in here, and then maybe you reuse it on, uh, you know, your jeans and uh, socks and stuff, whatever. So I'm okay reusing water like that. You know what, if you're going to do something really dark, like, like your jeans and all your work T-shirts and all that stuff, and you can see in here that the water... Is very very dark um, and dirty then you pull the plug and you dump it and you start with fresh water on the next load but I'm sure over the years we have saved lots and lot gallons and gallons and gallons of water I don't know how uh, I don't know how many gallons fit into one of these things but um, when this thing's on on extra large load she's the whoa, super capacity look at that so there's a lot of water in there and we have saved that countless times over the years and you know what we have septic system in the backyard and if i can save a bunch of soap from dumping into that septic and ruining my my septic field and whatever i'm gonna go for it but now what's going on is that i believe there's a bunch of uh, crud and mess in between this inner drum and the outer tub whatever you want to call it and um now you know when we're when we're washing i think stuff is loosening up in there and it's coming through the holes and coming back on and getting on our clothes and i don't worry about it too much except my wife is a professional in the healthcare industry and when she goes into work uh her clothes need to look uh, good and clean you can't have great big uh you know uh, marks of of used um soap and scum and crud and whatever you know if it's my uh if it's my work jeans or my work shirts an old t-shirt or whatever that i'm gonna be crawling around under a car in it i don't really care but for her it does matter so we gotta try and get this cleaned up so i was asking a guy uh there a while ago i said hey um do you ever have this problem and he i said have you ever used those those tablets that you use that you throw in here and it's supposed to wash all that mess out from between and dump it out and he says, as a matter of fact, he does use those tablets. So he gave me one. He says he uses this about once a month. He throws one in there and uh, and goes for it. And he says his stuff is all good. So I was prepared to have to take this whole take this whole top off, take the whole lid off, and um, you know you got to get the agitator out. There's a there's a screw or bolt, a small screw down in the bottom here, and then I got to pop this whole thing off. Of course it's been on there for 15 years so maybe it doesn't come off all that easy i'm going to maybe have to make some kind of a puller or whatever to pull that thing up and off i don't know anyway 
we're going to experiment with this. He gave me one and uh, I'm going to see if this, uh, if this works. I'm going to be able to tell if it works because I'm going to save the water and it's going to dump all into here and we're going to see exactly how dirty it is and how much crud comes out. And if it looks, uh, if it looks like it's working good, I'm going to go out and buy a bunch of those and I'm going to do this and see how it goes. If it doesn't work all that well, like I'm going to give it a month or so. And if it doesn't go all that well, then I think I'm going to be having to take this all out and popping, popping this inner drum out of the tub so that I can take it out in the driveway and scrub it all off with the garden hose or whatever I need to do. But, uh, so that's where we're at today. We're going to experiment with one of these. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so he said uh, use pure hot water on that thing. And he says he likes to uh, just drop in a little bit of uh, regular laundry detergent. I'm not sure if it says it on the box or not, but he says that's what he likes to do. So that's what I did. And... Uh, I have no idea what brand this is. He says he uses all kinds of different ones, whatever you can find cheapest on sale and whatever. So we're gonna throw that in there and uh, let this thing fill up and uh, give it a go. All right, so he's full, uh, full hot water there. Uh, I hope that's not too much soap. I didn't put that much in, but it seemed to foam up a lot. So anyway, um, it's full we're gonna get it going we're going to we're gonna plug this hole so we can save all that water that comes out of there and uh, got it on save and it was on hot and extra large okay so we're gonna pull that thing and we're gonna let him go and uh, what I might do is I might actually stop it once or twice and let it sit and soak for a bit I don't know if that's gonna help or not and uh, when this thing when this thing turns around up to the top to where it's gonna start dumping out I might uh, I might stop it and spin it all the way around and re-pull it and maybe do this uh, three or four times this afternoon to really let that stuff work because it has been so long since this has been done so well it's never been done so anyway um, we're gonna give it a go and see how it turns out Okay, so this thing here is about to shut off here now. <clears throat> I've spun this thing around here about, uh, I think this is the fourth time it's gone now, and in between each one I've just shut it off and let it sit for maybe about five minutes or so, and, uh, and then got it re-going. So I think we're going to dump it out of here and see what this looks like. Well, <laughs> that's what it looks like, a lot of frothy, frothy uh, foam and soap stuff. Anyway, we're going to dump it out of there and we're going to dump it into here. So we're going to just click this forward a little bit. And when it goes to save, it's right. I missed it. Let's go again. Right there. So we're going to watch it all come into here and see uh, if this is good or bad or what have you. Well, it's... Uh, cleaner than I expected I'm not sure what I was really expecting to see but I thought it might be somewhat messy or what I'm not really sure I thought I'd see something I see the odd black thing floating around in there but um, not that much well, there's a few things coming around in there Let's see if you can see anything coming up there went one there's a few things going around in there Anyway, we'll, uh, let me redo that again. This thing here just, uh, flipped off. There you go. Let's get some more out. <clears throat> anyway, we'll, uh, we'll wait for this all to come out and then I'll have a, try and have a look at it. Okay, so we got all the water out of there and, uh, let the, we kind of let the, uh, the soap foam there, uh, come away from it. I used a rag here and just drag some of the soap foam back a little bit oh now I'm stirring it all up again but you know what I don't really see a whole lot in there I'm uh, not exactly sure what I was expecting to see or hoping to see I'm not sure but I don't really see much in there at all laying on the bottom is a is a few things like there's a black speck there that's laying on the bottom 
There's, uh, I don't know how well you can see it. There's another one back in there. Right there's a black thing. This is a, let me see if I do, oh, there, ding dong. There's a black thing there. There's, uh, that's not, that's a piece of, uh, where is it? Right there. Um, there's a dark one down here, down in the corner. I was expecting to see a lot. I'm, anyway. I'm not sure how well this worked. This may be a, a maybe a fail. I'm not sure. Um, the guy that I got that tablet off, he's got a whole bunch more of them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to him and see maybe I can get a get a few more off of him and try this all out and uh, and see how this goes. I I fully expected to have gotten something more than that out of it. That looks pretty clean to me. That water. Uh, so I'm going to dump that out. It's, you know, full of all kinds of wacky chemical or something apparently. So, um, we're going to dump that water. I'm going to put this thing here through a uh, straight water rinse to get every, all the rest of it out of there. And, um, I guess we're going to see how the next few loads go for how the laundry turns out. But, uh, at this rate, I don't see that much really happen to it from that tablet, but, uh, we'll see what happens coming up. But maybe maybe this is going to be all coming out and coming apart to uh, to do a, a proper, really good cleaning job on it. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's where we're at for now. So just quickly, I thought, uh, you know what, before I dump all this water out of here and get rid of it all, that uh, you know, I'm going to demonstrate the, uh, the, uh, the suds return on this thing, on this guy. For people who haven't seen it, you know, a lot of people are all environmentally friendly and cautious today and whatever else conscience cautious somehow like that and they're all doing what they can to save the environment so this is a little thing you can do like i said i don't think they make these anymore and i don't understand why but i might be wrong but i don't think they make it so anyway that's empty there's nothing in there and we are going to put this guy down to uh water return So water return, we're going to pull it out, and that is now drawing out of here and putting it back into the drum and you can, you can see the water level is going down. So it's sucking it all back in, very, uh, very obvious that it's going down. And uh, through the magic of things breaking, this little switch is broken so we can actually run this machine with the lid open, which is a dangerous thing to do and we never do that, but here you can actually see it's filling up and it's coming back in. And that's going down, and that's going up. And it will fill, you always, you always wind up losing a little bit at the end, um, but that will fill up all the way until that's pretty much empty be only like a half an inch of water left in the tub when it's all done and then uh, most times when you when you flip this over to here to start your next load it, it will top up a little bit because you've you've missed some out of here but there you can see it's certainly going all the way down and there's a few things floating around down in there and they're getting drawn towards Whoop, boom in it goes things are getting drawn in so you know sometimes we if there's going to be a lot of dirt and nonsense down in the bottom we will stop that so it doesn't suck all that stuff in so anyway it's done everything it can do from there got this much in so we've saved all that water you know and all that soap going to the environment and going into our septic and everything else and saved on our water bill <laughs> so you would shut this off and then if you were to go here to start your next load and you pull that out to start it, it will usually top up some. And there you can see that it's topping up a little bit. But it doesn't need to top up very much. There's, you know, the things more than three quarters full. It's almost full all the way. So anyway, I'm not going to top it up because uh, we're just going to be dumping it all. But anyway, yeah, that's how, uh, that's how these sud savers work. And uh, like I said, if the water's clean, do it. If the water's not clean, you reach over here, pull the string, and out it all goes. All right, okay, so 
uh, here we are maybe about, uh, I don't know, we're about two weeks later, two, three weeks later, and uh, we've done numerous uh, laundry days here, uh, numerous loads going through this thing, and uh, we are still getting some uh, some what seems to be soap scum or whatever on uh, on some of the clothes. So obviously uh, that little tablet that we tried before didn't work. And uh, I thought instead of bothering that other guy that I know for uh, for a couple more tablets because he bought them for himself, he's using them over there. And I don't know that it really did much for me. So instead of actually doing that, I'm going to try something different. So uh, we're going to give it a shot of... Uh, we're gonna give it a shot of this here, good old fashioned, uh, some vinegar here. Everybody always thinks vinegar is like the uh, the penicillin or whatever of uh, of cleaning. It does absolutely everything for you. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna dump this whole jug in there, and then I'm gonna fill the rest away full of uh, full of hot water, and uh, we're gonna run it for a while and. And keep uh, keep spinning the, uh, the the timer around to uh, keep recycling it and doing it and doing it and doing it and, doing it. and uh, we're gonna save the water into the tub into the laundry tub and we're gonna have a look at it and see uh, see how it turns out. All right, we're on uh, super hot, extra large, and we're gonna fill this fill this thing up. Hot water going in, and we're gonna put in a whole jug of uh, whole jug of vinegar here. Right. You know, vinegar is relatively cheap. I don't do the shopping around here, so I don't know, but how much it is. But I think it's only like two bucks a jug or something like that. And uh, mm, smells nice. Whew. All right, he's in there. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that expensive there. My uh, my wife said, "Oh yeah, put that in there. We got all kinds of it." So that's where we're at. So we're gonna we're gonna fill this thing all in. And we're going to get it all spinning around there. Once it's full, we're going to get her going. So what I've done is uh, we were on uh, we were on a extra large setting here before. But I've actually spun it over to a small one. Extra small even. Ooh, nothing going in. So we've got, uh, we've got that much in there. I thought, you know, maybe that will uh, not dilute that vinegar out so much. It'll be a little bit stronger for concentration. And then uh, when we see later on it pump out into here, um, if there's a lot of mess in it, then I'll fill more water in to, to raise it up so it can work on, you know, the higher part of the of the the tub in there, the drum, whatever you want to call it. But I think for now we're gonna go this way, and um, we're gonna let that go for a while, and maybe it's not. Uh, quite so uh, so diluted because there's less water in there. So I've got uh, I got that on save. I'm going to put the plug in the bottom of the uh, laundry tub, and we're going to let this thing go for a while. All right. So I think uh, I think we're going to call it a day on this one here. I've been at this thing uh, the whole afternoon now, messing around with this, rerunning it and rerunning it and everything. And uh, he's. Uh, He's about ready to shut off here for this go around, so uh, I'm going to shut him off. So we're at the, um, we've got it filled all the way up to the top now. Originally there, I just had it on the extra small load, and I spun the uh, I spun the dial around here, and I, I redid it on the small load when it was on that extra small. I redid it uh, five times. I did it five times. Then on the fifth one there, I uh, I set this up to, I set that up to the extra large, on full hot water, brought it all, brought it all up to where it is now, and now I've run it, uh, I've run it four times on this, so everything looks pretty clean in there again. So once again, I'm not I'm not sure what I'm expecting to see. 
Uh, maybe I can't see anything. Maybe the soap scum is all uh, is all disintegrated or melted into the water, whatever you want to call it. Maybe it's all maybe it's all in there. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I think the first time when I when I put that tablet in and and my buddy there said, "Hey, uh, throw some throw some soap in there and help it along." And I thought, you know, get, getting to think about that, I thought, well, I'm trying to get rid of soap scum. Why am I adding more soap to it? So. That may have been a hindrance. I don't know. He said he does it, so I did it too. But anyway, maybe you're not supposed to. Anyway, I am going to uh, I'm going to dump it out right now. Get this closed, and we're going to spin this over to there, and we're going to watch it all come out, and uh, and see what shows up in there. If there's going to be a bunch of little. Uh, brown things. I can see brown stuff floating around down in there already that wasn't there before. So anyway, I'm going to let this all come all out of there and uh, when it's all out, we'll have a look at it. So it's almost all done coming all out of there. Well, it is done now. Um, there is some brown things floating around in there. Um, many more than what was in there when uh, when I did that tablet so I don't know if that's I don't know, is that from in between the tub and the drum or is that stuff that was maybe sitting down in the bottom of the hose and now it's just the vinegar loosened it up and got it off of the inside of the hose I don't know but I'm thinking that uh, I'm thinking that this is uh, going to be somewhat. I'm going to shut this thing off. I'm thinking that this is going to be somewhat of a fail, I guess. Um, like I said, maybe the maybe the soap scum is all uh, is all melted into the water, or for lack of better words, I don't know. But anyway, maybe I can't actually see it. Maybe it's all in there. So I think what's going to happen is. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to dump this water, and I'm going to give it a fresh water rinse, and I'm gonna I'm gonna move this thing here around so that I can put the fresh water rinse into here, and we'll have another look at that and see what came out of that. All right, so I got fresh water going in here for a rinse, and uh, we're dumping this all out here, and um, I don't know there's. There's some brown brown floaties in there. We're gonna get rid of all of them, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse it out there, dump it into here, and we'll have a uh, we'll have a look when that's all done. Have a look at that rinse water. All right, so all the uh, all the vinegar water is out, and we're gonna plug this here. The vinegar water's out. And gone out. It's out in the backyard now. And this is still filling full here. So this just finished uh, filling up. And uh, it's right full to the top. Hot water, full hot. So we're going to we're gonna be spinning and rinsing. And I think, um, you know what, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run that twice. So this goes for goes for about eight minutes or so so uh, when it's done I'm gonna spin spin that around and pull it again and give it another shot and then uh, then we're gonna dump it in there and have a look at it and see what it's doing so this thing here is getting about ready to end and uh, you know it's gone around twice this is the second this is the second go around on it so uh, you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna call it quits I'm gonna wrap this up. I gotta go get uh, Mrs. Wrench from work. So let me, uh, where is it? It's up here, right here. Think right there. That'll do it. We're gonna dump it into here and we're gonna see what this all looks like. I don't expect to see uh, much of anything at all. But uh, anyway, we'll let it, we'll let it pump out and uh, let it pump out and get into there and we'll see what it looks like when it's all done here in a minute okay so that's that that's empty that's full 
And, uh, you know, there's a odd thing laying down on the bottom. I wonder if that's just from inside of, uh, inside of these hoses. Anyway, I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I think, um, I think, honestly, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to save this water. I'm not dumping it because it's clean, fresh water. I'm going to do a load or two of laundry tonight after, uh, after supper and see how it goes. So I think that, um, I'm not sure if I can call this a win or a fail on, on this whole thing, but I think we're going to wrap it up on this. Um, we're going to see what our loads are going to look like in the next, uh, in the next few weeks again and see if there's going to be any soap scum on, uh, on, uh, you know, uniforms and, and whatever dark t-shirts and what have you. But, um, I can imagine that I'm going to be taking this thing all apart, getting it out, and uh, getting it out to the uh, out to the driveway and scrubbing it off. Unfortunately, we got uh, about a foot and a half or snow out there, or two feet of snow out there right now, because it's uh, uh, we're just in March right now of 2023. So um, this thing won't be coming out to get scrubbed out in the driveway for a couple of months. So uh, that'll be a whole separate video if I'm going to do that. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that though. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. So uh, once again, I'm not sure if those tablets worked, or if the uh, if the vinegar worked because you know maybe maybe it maybe it cleaned all the soap off the inside of that. Maybe I just couldn't see it because it's on that white porcelain in there, or white whatever that is. Anyway, good enough for this one. We're gonna call this experiment uh, undecided. If it was uh, if it was a success or a fail, I'm not sure. So anyway, uh, we're going to wrap it up here. This is getting way too long again. So uh, this is Wrench Gear here. And uh, please hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment as to what you think. If you've had good luck with those tablets or not or whatever. Let me know what you think. Because I'm fully undecided on on if any of this stuff here worked or not. So uh, yeah, leave a, uh, leave a comment there for me, please. And... Uh, uh, please, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button there. It's just one little click for you to do, and uh, and the like button there as well. And um, I guess we're gonna wrap it up. So thank you very much for watching this and putting up with all this uh, inconclusive uh, experiment, we'll call it. <laughs> so thank you very much, and uh, we'll bring you something hopefully a little bit more exciting than this next time. Thanks. <laughs>